it's a time now to enjoy the beauty of pesky mathematics and how are you everybody who is watching this video i'm very happy to have you and i'd like to welcome all the national and international viewers into this fantastic moment of learning the beauty of basic mathematics for ordinary secondary school my name is Olen July Moko Tayayo Singo. Simply just call me Olen July. Uh, thank God who have given me a shift of teaching. I'll be a teacher of basic mathematics who's going to teach you the beauty of basic mathematics for the rest of your life. I would like to welcome everybody who's watching this uh, fantastic program. And we are here, we are seriously focusing on training and teaching uh, ordinary secondary students about uh, the difficult subjects in all level education. Uh, by using the curriculums of United Republic of Tanzania, I'm a Tanzanian and also I'm doing this program for, I will like dedicate this program firstly to all the Tanzanians and second to all the African, uh, ordinary secondary students, Americans, Europeans, Asians, and even Australians, uh, ordinary secondary students or middle school students in order to enjoy the beauty of these contents. So I'll be a teacher or simply I'll be a math mathematician, it means that I'll be uh, you are a teacher in mathematics for this program and also uh, in other programs will be your physicist, your chemistry, your chemistries, your yes, chemistry. So I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you into one of our online old school, secondary school that called Tanzania Online Online Secondary School, it's your bracket college. Simultaneously, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you into one of our official YouTube channel that's called Tanzania Online or Level Set School in Square Bracket College. So, at uh, the name of the uh, of the school, just in proposing or indicating, this is the online school. We don't have any physical school. It is online. Again, are the names indicating that it's uh, it's called it Tanzania Online Ordinary. It means that it, all the contents that they are going to find here is has been dedicated specifically to ordinary secondary students who are from one, from two, from three, and from four. So that's what the name actually is indicating. Whether you're a student or you're a parent or a guardian or just you're a sponsor, you're a teacher, you're somebody else who is a Christian mathematician. So we're really happy, we, we are happy to have you today. So I would like to remind you the vision, in case that if you have heard, if it's your first time, I know you're asking yourself so many questions. What are these people? Why do you need uh, to learn your nine or nine secondary school in square bracket or in July? That's a very important question. Why? The purpose of to also is actual that to train and uh, to train and teaching ordinary secondary students about the beauty of basic mathematics, physics, and the uh, basic mathematics, physics, and chemistry. One of them. How? So we have an assignment to teach you or to teach some group of students who will be ready to extract knowledge, understanding, and wisdom from basic mathematics, physics, and chemistry, and combine it with the knowledge, understanding, and wisdom from the Word of God that treats in the Holy Bible in order to solve real life problems. So our main objective, or the main objective of the OSO, is to train all the students on how you have to think after the, outside of the class on how you can solve real life problems. So we have so many departments that in our online schools, this is the kind of the physical schools, uh, it's a kind of the, uh, uh, just it's an online school. And we like to take this opportunity to just to give you some procedures for you to register yourself uh, in our online schools. The first step, if you don't have an email, please create or open a new email, it may be a, G a Gmail or a Yahoo mail. The second step, we ask you to sign in YouTube by using the email. Yes, it's a one that have created. And the third step, we ask you that to search to also in YouTube, uh, in the YouTube. And then the second step, we ask you, so to also, don't write to also, it's not there, but just this the abbreviations of Tamania, online, ordinary, secondary school, subscribe back to the So it means that if you want to know our official YouTube channel, it's called Tamania, online, or level, city school, it's square bracket college online. Ah, wonderful. So just see, copy and paste what it has been written there, and then you'll we'll see our contents. So once you get in there, then you'll find uh, there's a sort of buttons here, which has the national flag of Tanzania. This is our national flag for a beautiful country. And then so the side on the right hand side, so you see Tanzania online, uh, all level city school, it's your bracket college. 
So in essence, you see the number of subscribers. Thank God that it's great right now. We have more than 100 subscribers. So, so when you click these buttons, then you're already in the schools. You're already into also, right? You are only welcome. And the good thing uh, for you, uh, once you get in there, the steps, the last steps, or the important step for you to be registered uh, at the right hand side of your, at your right hand side, at the bottom of your right hand side, you see the button so you can subscribe. So click these buttons once, then to change it to subscribe. And then afterward, after you see, after, after you click it, you'll find that the icon of the bell will appear, right? So icon of the bell will appear. So once the icons of the bell will appear, so you click this icon and you have an options of all, right? Once you have that options of all, then you are done. The second step, the, the fifth step, of, so you have already registered it. If you are form four, then we have also a special YouTube channel for and a special online schools, which is called Online Online Advanced Secondary School, Square Bracket of Enjoy L, where we are training you advanced in physics, advanced in chemistry, advanced in mathematics, in, and basic applied mathematics. So you have to stay tuned. So again, so we're asking you that one when it, after you're subscribing, yeah, yeah, you are right now a student of, of the also. So he asked you to click to click the playlist uh, because you see home, you see videos, and then you see uh, playlist, you see channels, you see community, you see about. Just to click the playlist. Once you click the play playlist, we are collecting all the related sessions in, in one and we put them in one playlist. So that's very important for you to understand because sometimes you can learn. Maybe if you can, because you're going to choose session six, session six of common geometry one, uh, uh, and then you'll find that you need to go for the session seven, but you don't know where can you get it. But if you visit the playlist which is written common geometry, then you'll find all the sessions of common geometry which have been collected together for you to go through them. So this is session six uh, and stated as, okay, remember that you have common geometry. Afterwards, we'll teach about areas and volumes. Okay, areas and volumes. So the today's slopes of what of parallel lines to x axis. So slopes of parallel lines. So section six it is slopes. Slopes of parallel. Slopes of parallel. Parallel lines. X axis and then Y axis. So that the session of today. Okay, so once you again the last step that you can click like to like our video to share and click the buttons of share to share this content to your friends via the Facebook to WhatsApp uh via via Instagram, via Twitter, via Telegram, via email. So you can share the link of this video for millions or for hundreds of your of your friends who are studying ordinary secondary education anywhere in Tanzania, in anywhere in the globe or anywhere in the planet S. Wow. So 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 far. So in previous session, just okay, the departments of basic mathematics, we, the subject is called basic mathematics. This concept for the pre-44 and for all for four, four, four students, chapter one, problem geometry, and this is section six slopes of parallel lines to x-axis and y-axis. Wonderful. So then we have quick review. Quick review. Okay, the review of what? Of session, session five. So in session five, we've been teaching you about graphs of what? Graphs of, so we talked about graphs of what? We talked about graphs of, uh, of straight line. Graphs of straight lines. So I say we can uh, mean that you can sketch the graph of the straight line by using the term of value. 
table 40, table bonus. You can sketch also the graph of the straight line by using x intercept, x intercept, and y intercept. Then we solve the problems in exercise. So solving questions in exercise 1.1. Then we left the homework, which actually was the example 18. So we left the homework. Homework, that was homework 5. That was exam 18. I believe that you did it well. So let us go into the today's sessions. Let us start with slopes of parallel lines to y axis. Slopes of parallel slope of parallel lines y not oh, y axis. Slopes of parallel lines to y axis. Okay. So I will say that from the general general formula of gradient gradient of the straight line straight line which you say that gradient is equal to a change in y or a change in x. This change in y to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This also will be y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Okay. So we say that if uh, if it is parallel lines to y axis so, so that parallel lines to y axis are the straight lines of the straight vertical vertical lines are the straight vertical lines are the straight vertical lines. So parallel lines to the axis are the straight vertical lines. Okay. This is y axis and this is x axis. So this is a parallel line, this is another parallel line, this is another parallel line, this is another parallel line, okay? So those are the parallel lines, parallel lines. Parallel lines, okay. So parallel lines. Uh -huh. Okay. So that's x-axis, y-axis. So this is origin, which is split off. So you can see that these are the points. Parallel lines towards to y-axis. So this is y-axis. Remember. So this point you can have let's say point A to be x comma zero, then you have let's say point B, so B x comma zero, so let's say x two comma zero, and this is x one comma zero. Then here we are, we see this is x three comma zero. We have again some other point D, this is x four comma zero. Those are the parallel lines. So suppose that this is 
figure 6.1. So if you check these power lines, so please copy this instruction, please, for you to register permanently. The goodness that into also we have we, we asking we are asking only our students to register themselves only once. For, so you have a lifetime registration. I believe that you have prepared yourself to enjoy the beauty of basic mathematics. Okay. So you say that if from figure six plus one, you say that the change in x would be equal to zero from this here. For example, if you are looking the gradients uh, between point A and point E at this point. So even point E we have x e 5 comma 0 comma 0 wait X5 comma Y, excuse me, X5 comma Y. But this X5 would be equal to X1. Even if we take another point here, which is point F, this point F also would be X1 comma, let's say, Y2. Possibly this is Y1. Okay? So, for example, if you want to find maybe a uh, change in x between point A and what? And f. A and f. So, this one, you have to say that we take x1 minus x1 is equal to 0. Simply, you have to understand that for all the parallel lines to x to y axis, parallel lines to y axis, change in x is equal to 0. There's no any change in x because the line is straight line. So no any change of x, but there's change in y. Because the value of y here is 0, maybe here it's 1, it is 2, it is 3, etc. Here it is negative 1, negative 2, etc. But the value of x, if for example, along this line, right? From here to infinity to negative infinity, and from here to positive infinity is the same. So that's why we say that change in x, it is what? It is 0, right? So again, if you remember that you say gradient is equal to changing y over changing x, this is equal to So for that case now, right? So if you keep on the second state, if you say the substitute equation one into 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 equation two, right? So if you do that, you have Gradient is equal to what? Change in one. So you have change in what? Change in one. Of what? Over change in x, which is what? Zero. Right? So change in y over zero, thus is equal to what? So this one is equal to undefined. You cannot take a number you divide with zero. That is what? Undefined. Or in mathematics, also we call it x undefined. Undefined, for example, change in y can be any value, right? So it can be any value. So this value, the value there will be equal to when you take 1 over 0, that is undefined. This means it's not possible. It's not possible to take 1 over 0. Okay? So if that's the case, If that the case now, we can generalize something that we call it. Uh, therefore, y slope of the lines is undefined because the number divided by zero is undefined. <coughs> so.
So, because we've been discussing about the gradient, so the gradient of slope of of straight line of n parallel line of n. So the gradient of n parallel line, maybe this is line one. It's gradient line two, line three, line four. The gradient of n parallel line. The gradient of n parallel line. Parallel line plot to y axis. It is undefined. Cannot find. It is undefined. That's number one. So that's one of the points that we have to remember. Lines which have undefined gradients are parallel to what? Lines. So again, we say that because uh, this the concept of cover the undefined problem, so we solve this problem soon. Lines which are parallel. Which are parallel to what? Lines which are parallel to O, Y axis have undefined, have undefined what? Gradient or a defined slope. Defined what? Gradient. So that's the concept that you have to remember. So if Lines which are parallel to y axis have undefined gradient, so have undefined slope. How do we express the here equation of the line? Okay. The equations of the line. So you say that the equation of the, of the lines parallel, parallel to x parallel to y axis. Are expressed in are expressed in by the by the exit intercepting on me. So equation of the lines parallel to y axis are expressed in by the exit intercepting on me. So equation of the lines of, of the lines parallel to y axis are expressed by the x intercepting on them. Question of the lines parallel to y axis are expressed by the x intercepting on them. So the x intercept is the one that on uh, which will be expressed because for example this one it will be this is the x intercepting x intercept for this of line two x intercept of line three x intercept of line four so the ax intercepts will be expressing or be representing the equation of the line. Okay? Question of the line. So values of x's for which one? So for example, if the x intercept The line is six of the line parallel to y axis parallel to y axis is six. So then it's equation. It's equation. It is x is equal to six. It's the question x is equal to what? To six. X is equal to what? X is equal to six. So a question of the lines parallel to y axis are expressed by the x intercept on. For example, if the x intercept of the line parallel to 
y axis is six is n question this what x is equal to six if they maybe the x intercept of the uh, any other parallel lines to y axis is negative four so then the question of that line is negative four right so this is so let us solve a problem so this is example example 19 you have to refer secondary basic mathematics book 4 exercise 1.1 question of question 18 remember also to visit our to uh, our to our to all it means the Tanzania Online Ordinary Library. So remember to visit our Tanzania Online Library. Tanzania Online Library. Tanzania Online Library. Where you can access uh, different contents uh, or different books that will help you to go through your ordinary secondary education. So you can order secondary basic mathematics book. You can order first of all the syllabus. Basic mathematics syllabus for ordinary education for one to form four. You can also order these reference books that are called Secondary Basic Mathematics in Book 4. You can order also Physics and Chemistry books. And also you can order uh, some other lower uh, uh, Basic Mathematics books, Secondary Basic Mathematics Book 2 uh, by Thai, Mentalania Institute of Education. You can also order Mathematics for Secondary School from four students' books with, uh, by Oxford. You can also order uh, Ordinary Secondary or Ordinary Level uh, mathemat basic mathematics review, which contains nectar questions from 2003, 2019. So you can order all of this stuff, just to visit the descriptions of this video. Click the software button, which is just as show more. Then you see the link that will take you into, uh, into Tanzania online ordinary library. So now, let me present to you question 18 for this exercise. Find the question. So you will see that if you meet this question and you don't know the concepts of parallel lines to y axis, then you cannot solve it. Find the question. Find the question of the line. Find the question of the line. Find the question of the line through the point. Find the question of the line through the point. And this point is what? Through the point 2, comma, 0, 2, comma, 0 is undefined. Is is undefined gradient. It's undefined gradient. Add the question. So I said that find the equation of the line to the point two comma zero is undefined gradient. Solution. Okay, find the equation of the line through point two comma zero is undefined gradient. So remember that whenever you want to find the equation of the line, you might be given two points so you can find gradients and then so you use the gradients, one known points and one arbitrary point to find the equation of the line. Or you might be given uh, one point and the parallel lines. Or you might be given one point and gradient. So for this case, we have been given one point and gradient, but that gradient is not clear because it has been used the vocabulary of what is undefined gradient. Suppose that I didn't teach you the, uh, the previous concept, means you cannot solve this question. Okay, so here we have a terminology called the undefined gradient. For my students who have gone through what I've been teaching from the beginnings of session 60, they understand now the technique. So solution, so the first is the 
Now we have defined what is called the undefined gradient. Okay, undefined gradient. This means if you understand, it means that simply this is change in one over zero. That's the meaning of undefined gradient. Right? And for gradients, the change in y of what over zero, which is simply, uh, let us assume that change in y, it is zero, it is one. So we said that I'm finding gradients in mathematics for this case to be one over zero because one over zero is undefined. So you have to understand that the concept. Then we go for the second step. Second step. Set of let a to be a non print, which is 2,0. This is the beginning. And let a beta the print, which is x, one. Right? So after you do, you do that, you go to the same state. The same state, we have to set up to the call what? The call, the formula, the gradient is equal to change in y over change in x. So I define gradients, remember it's one over the, oh, but remember, I define gradient is one over zero. The response. So simply we say that we have one over zero, changing y to be y minus zero, then changing x will be x minus two. Okay? So for that case, we cross multiplication. Once the cross multiplication, so we have 0 times 1 minus 0. This is equal to 1 times x minus 2. All right? So 0 times y is 0. 0 times 0 is 0. So this is equal to 1 times x, it is x. 1 times 2, it is 2. So simply, x minus 2 is equal to 0. In other words, x is equal to 2. So that's the equation of 40 of the line. Therefore, the equation of a line is x is equal to 2. To the response, x is equal to 2. To that. So, whenever you find any questions in quadrant geometry, is, uh, 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 including the concepts of what? Gradient. Including the concepts of undefined gradient. Then, my dear students, you have to understand that we are talking about a, okay, parallel. Uh, we are talking about a straight line which is parallel to y axis. So let us go to, or let us let me teach you the second concept, which is loss of the parallel lines to x axis. Loss or gradients of parallel parallel lines to X D axis. Slopes of parallel lines to X axis. So the first is the consider figure 6.2 below. Let me teach you in a different style. In such a way, remember that the hats of the also is understandable. So that is y axis, and this is the x axis. So this is x. Axis. So parallel lines to x axis will be here. So this is x axis. Okay. These are parallel lines to x axis. And here we are parallel lines to x axis. 
So this is line one, this is line two, this is line three. We do parallel lines toward the x axis. Okay? So you can also label these lines, maybe one, two, three. Then you have what? Negative one, negative two, negative three. Also, there are one, two, negative one, negative two, negative three. Uh, this is possibly. So, this is figure 16. Six equals two. So, these are the parallel lines. So, L1, L2, L3, and L4 are parallel lines to X axis. So, the good thing or the key point that we are teaching you. Parallel lines to x axis and parallel lines to y axis have a special value of gradient. That's why we are discussing them specifically. So we say that line 1, line 2, line 3, and line 4 are parallel lines to what? X axis. These are the parallel lines to X rotate. X axis. Parallel lines to X rotate. Parallel lines to X axis. Lines to x axis. So our parallel lines to x or x axis. Wonderful. So those are the parallel lines to x axis. Huh? So these lines these lines does not These lines do not change in value in values along what x axis along along x axis means along x axis along along y axis. So not change in value. Values along what y axis. What does it mean? So we say that from so the second state from the general form of gradient says slope or gradient is equal to changing y or changing x. So we have gradient. So gradient is equal to a change in y. So we have change in y usual. So maybe we can have y1 minus y2 and the x2 minus x1 or x1 minus x2 whatever the case so gradient for this case would be what so you say that it's the general form but for parallel for parallel lines to what to x axis the value of y does not change so change in y would be equal to zero it does not change so why here it is two Y is 2, it's 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 2, along the, from negative infinity to positive infinity, Y it is 2. So it means if you take 2 minus 2, it is 0. So for that case, you see gradients of parallel lines to the X axis will be equal to 0 over change in X. Possibly the value of change of, uh, change of X might be any positive or negative values. But whenever we take a zero over any number, the answer is equal to zero. So therefore, gradient or slope of any line parallel to x 
axis is zero. So they are nothing amount. So it's zero. So that shows that the gradient is always zero. You know, this is whether you are in from four, from five, from six, or you're an undergraduate student, or you're in the ordinary diploma, at the principal, you have to keep in your mind. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I have an example print, special that which are uh, with me to teach you this concept. And it's a kind of the concept because if you don't mind, then this might be challenging you. But this one's actually still find the question of the straight line. Okay, so before we give you this example. So if the gradients of this line is zero, how about how are we express the question of these straight lines? So since the question of the lines of the lines parallel to x axis are expressed by y intercept. The question of N. So the question of Parallel of NA line parallel to it, parallel to its axis is expressed as what is expressed by is expressed by the y intercept. First, by the y intercept of the line. Y intercept of the line. So, for example, this is y intercept. Y intercept is 2, y intercept is 1, y intercept is negative 1, y intercept is negative 2. So the question of the analyte in parallel to x axis is expressed in priority by the y-intercept of the line. So that is slopes of 40 of parallel lines to x axis. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So yeah, the question of the analyte parallel to x axis is expressed by the y-intercept of 40 of the line. So if that the case, we say okay, so yeah, so now we can we can teach you example 19. This is concept you have to refer secondary basic uh, mathematics with three and four exercise. 1.1 question 17 said 17 question status find the question find the question of the straight line find the question of the straight line Find the question of the straight line. So the point for the point zero comma five this gradient is zero. This gradient zero. So find the equation of the straight line through the point 0, 0,5 with gradient 0. 
find the equation of the straight line. So the point is 0, 0,5 is gradient T zero. So I told you that the gradient are uh, the gradients of any parallel lines, the gradients of any parallel lines to x axis is zero. So when we have been told that we have been told in this question that the gradients of that line that we are, have to find its equation is zero. It means that this the line which is parallel to x axis. So you have to bear that in a point. So sometimes you can find the same question and then uh, 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 the compose of the questions, right? That find the question of the straight line through the point 0, 0,5 and parallel with x axis. So you have to understand that the gradients of any line and a straight line is parallel to x axis is already is zero. Solution. So we say that we have the first step, we have to let point A, this is equal to 0, 0,5, and also let a bit at point B, this is equal to x, 0, 1, and then let gradient or point, gradients or slope of point slope to be 0. And then start the first step, and this is the second step. So we are ready for the second step. So the second step begins to say that we call what? We call the general form of gradient is equal to change in y or change in x. Right? Change in y over change in x. 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 Changing y over changing 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 x. Changing y over change in x. So changing y over changing x. So so that is the gradient. So gradient is changing y over changing out in x. So we say that uh, so remember that we say okay, so that's that's fine. So we have the gradient of zero. Changing y will be at y minus what? Y, y minus 5. And then so forth. Then x minus what? X minus 0. Right? So this is 0 over 1. Okay? So we cross multiplication. And this will make what? 0 times x is equal to, what? Is equal to 1. Y minus 5. So 0 times x it is 0. 1 times y it is y. 1 times 5 is 5. So simply, this is y is equal to 5. So the equation of the straight line So the equation of this straight line Question of the straight line is this y is equal to two. No, y is equal to five. Y is equal to five. Y is equal to y is equal to 5. That the equation of the straight line is y is equal to what? 5. This is the example 20.
So it's a time now for home ec. And this is home ec 6. And this question is example 21. You have to refer the book called Mathematics. Mathematics for secondary school. So it's a second book, Mathematics for secondary schools. Mathematics for secondary schools from four. spoke. So this is Oxford. This exercise one point one. And question this is one point one, question five. Write the equation with the equation of a straight line with the equation of the straight line for all that with this slope. Slope one over three having the same y intercept as the line. x minus 5y plus 10 is equal to 0. But the question we have to try. So calculate the equation of the straight lines with the slope 1 over 3 having the same y intercepting as the line 2x minus 5y plus 10. So it's a kind of, a, you have to think a bit of it. Right? It's not a straight. It's not a straightforward question. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of session six. I thank God who have given me a gift of teaching, and I thank God who have given me the opportunity to join me in this fantastic program. I would like to welcome you into session seven, when I'll teach you about the new subtopic, but still in the topic of corner geometry, which is called mini point, mini point, okay, mini point of the line. So I'll teach you, it's not a long concept, it's, it's not a long subtopics. It's not a long subtopic at the first subtopic which I've been teaching about the question of the straight line. So may God bless you abundantly and keep you safe and keep enjoying the beauty of basic mathematics. I'll keep praying for you and I ask you also to keep praying for me so that you may enjoy these contents for the rest of, all of your life, okay? So I ask you to uh, register yourself by subscribing into our channel. I ask you also to like and share the contents, these contents with hundreds of, uh, of other students who you have studied together in tuition in, during the preform one or during this primary education. So share these contents with them so they can take their advantage because it's free uh, of charge so they can actually like, understand and they can just they can enjoy them and actually store their uh, lost love in basic mathematics. If you love basic mathematics, if you understood what I've been teaching you today, I just told you about parallel uh, or slope of the parallel lines to y axis and x axis. So again, I ask you that in case you have any questions about this session or about other previous session, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below uh, at the left 
uh, at the bottom of your left hand side you see the comment sections ask questions and also use the comment section to give us feedback to establish the group discussions to answer questions have been asked by other students so try to visit the comment sections of every video so that for you to understand what is going on about the coordinate geometry so thank you very much and god bless you join me in the next session which is session seven where i will teach you about the main point of the line and stay focused stay enjoying the beauty of basic mathematics and may god bless you and keep you safely this is a mathematician sir olenjola imoko a national mathematician or a national teacher who teaches you who teach online secondary education students the beauty of basic mathematics so you see you in the next session please